They were the casualties of gang violence during a bloody week in Pine Hills last September. Three-year-old Daquan James Felix Jr. and 14-year-old Dennis Joshua Atkinson were fatally shot in separate drive-by shootings. We want to reduce violent crime and gun violence in our community. That prompted a four-month study by Orange County's Citizen Safety Task Force that included a survey revealing one out of four residents are concerned about violence, especially involving kids and guns. We got to save them because if we don't, they're going to end up in front of your door or in your house, in your car. A study shows that in Orange County, black and Hispanic juveniles make up 60 percent of the population, but represent 82 percent of those arrested. All those in favor say aye. 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 Commissioners unanimously approved 38 pages of task force recommendations, chief among them, promoting racial equity, reducing poverty and enacting cultural changes in the community, expanding access to effective parenting and boosting mentoring and behavioral and health programs, and transforming the criminal justice system with new police training and reducing youth incarceration with more diversion programs. The county is launching the effort to reduce violence with two million taxpayer dollars to help fund church-based and other nonprofit programs aimed at inspiring and motivating youth. No, this money is not free. There's an anticipation of a return on taxpayer dollars. The community is going to have to be part of this process. Recognizing that some grassroots organizations may not have a place to actually to bring kids, to provide them with various programs and services, the mayor says that some of the community centers like this one in Pine Hills could be used. The goal is intervention now to save lives later. In Orange County, Greg Fox, West 2 News. Longer range goals of the task force include a 10 year program to address poverty and neglect in at risk neighborhoods. The task force will be providing twice yearly updates.